In 2021, we covered some of the internet's best selling and craziest fitness devices. Well, we're back for 2022. There's always gonna be a new batch of fitness equipment and we're always gonna be here to review them. Damn right we are. <laughs> and we've recruited the Buff Girls to help us out because we're sick of being the only ones embarrassed. Are you ready? This is gonna get interesting. <laughs> we have mystery box number one. This is the uh, last ranked fitness equipment. We're gonna be going from last to number one. Do you know what's in the box? I don't. Okay, well, we're about to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We're right off the bat, it looks like it's pretty well made. Yeah. It's, it's sturdy. I will give it that. It smells interesting too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay, I'm hearing some pop in there. I, know. Ah, I don't know if it's me or it's. Exactly. Give it a shot. <laughs> oh. Oh. I hope it doesn't smell. <laughs> so it says high density foam that soaks up sweat. So as you sweat, as you're using this, it has high density foam to soak up all that good uh, kind of, you know, gross, smelly stuff. And I don't know what it does with it. I'm assuming yeah, it just holds it there for future there use. It has a thickened steel pipe, sturdy and durable. So that, that looks very thickened to me. There you go. Not, yeah. <laughs> That's definitely the sound of pectoral muscle growth. I like that one. It's like you're gonna just crack your own head like a walnut. I feel like I'm in a Saw movie or something. Ah, honey, solve the puzzle! Does this excite you? Yeah, that sounds very exciting. <laughs> Do you think you would use this in um, a realistic exercise scenario? I think it's one like one of those things you buy because it seems for cool. Christmas for the yeah, relative you yeah. don't really like <laughs> and you found it at the discount store. Yeah, I mean it's something that you would probably buy and be excited about it, but as soon as you see it and try it out, you'd never touch it again. That sounds about right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm for trod. You're out of here. So steering wheel, the power ring. Look at that. Here we go. So it looks like what happens is there's a steel ball inside the power ring and. It, you're gonna use centrifugal force to move the ring around. I hear it. <laughs> yeah, it's working! It's working! Whoa, that was Damn, easy. that is a man who knows so, how to use centrifugal force. Yeah. I got this down. I've used enough fitness equipment in my lifetime to <laughs> know what this He's is. He's an old about. pro when it comes I'm to shooting fitness pro, equipment. Man. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, centrifugal force. The muscle's working. It's stabilizing, and obviously it works because Michaela is feeling my muscles. So that's what we all want, right? <laughs> we just want a woman in there to be like, ah, impressed, just to, to feel the muscles. <sighs> so it's not really going through any yeah. kind of concentric or eccentric contraction. It's more about the stabilization, the smaller muscle groups trying to contract and hold that position in there through maybe like more of an isometric uh, yeah. Like position or hold. I feel my whole arm. Like, yeah, it's not gonna. Cause... It's not not working. But is it working uh, effectively over maybe something like dumbbells, mobility bands, barbells? I don't think so. I, I highly doubt this thing is gonna replace any of that equipment because <laughs> it's just. This kind of looks like an old Mario Kart Wii controller that they couldn't sell, so they just put a little ball in it. <laughs> and they're like fitness. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, thank God. Jimmy, you get a raise. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, God damn, thank God. We have so much of these in storage, we need to sell the damn things. There we go. Look, we'll, we'll get the stupid meatheads to buy. I know, exactly. Uh, and it apparently worked, because it's out there. We <laughs> bought it. Buff dudes bought one, baby. Okay, so flex or no flex? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. We're moving on to the top 10, and at number seven, we have one I'm pretty excited about, actually. It is the Aqua Training Bag. So you go ahead, you take this device right here, very first time we've ever opened it, you fill it full of water and you get your workout in. Um, this is gonna bring back some memories for me because me and Brandon, uh, at certain times in our life, we didn't really have a gym, we didn't have a lot of money, so we would just use uh, water jugs or milk jugs filled with water. We would take some old leather belts and we'd get ourselves in a great workout. Well, someone took that idea and they monetized that sucker. So we're gonna fill this up with water, we're gonna give it a shot. That's bigger than I thought. <laughs> shame, shame. <laughs> 
All right, so let's get started <laughs> with, <laughs> it's a wet. little wet. That's part of the problem when you're using an aqua bag. You have some nice soothing water sound effects. Oh, it's like you're in the ocean. <laughs> the gentle, the gentle waves crashing up against the shore. In this case, you're back. I mean, I think it's a great idea for people who have to either travel or just don't, you know, don't have time uh, or money to buy like actual full-time you know, yeah. full gym. And here's the thing though, now. speaking of travel, I think it is a good idea, I agree with you, but it is still a little messy. Yeah. It's not, you're not probably gonna be able to take it into like a hotel room, unless you got like a bathtub in your hotel, then it could work, but yeah. you can't really fill it up in a sink, it's not really uh, yeah, well, it's very... Big. It's a big way bigger than I expected. It is, yeah. It's like a giant water balloon. I'm just gonna throw it at her and it's gonna pop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one a flex. Yeah. I'm impressed with I this. Agree. Yeah. See, and it doesn't even drain very good, cause see? See that? Oh yeah. You know, I changed my mind. This thing sucks. <laughs> Before we get to the next one, I just wanna say a huge thank you to TLF. Check out their apparel at tlfapparel.com and make sure you use the code tlf-buff to get 15% off. They got some awesome clothing, as you can see. So, when you check them out, let them know the buff dude sent you. And the buff girls. Yeah. We're moving on to the number two and number six best-selling fitness equipment. It is the abs belt. How are your abs feeling? Well, I haven't started it yet. So um, I'm a little nervous. Whenever you're dealing with any kind of electrical currents, electricity, you're not quite sure what to expect and how powerful it's gonna be. But the gel is firmly planted against my skin. The belt's nice and tight. We have the device here to start it up. That's but I feel like wild. we need to read the warnings first, right? I was about to say, I want to put your mind at ease. Brandon mentioned, you know, you're a little concerned about the belt. Well, let me read you what it has to say. Okay. It says, danger. This sign means if you use the product incorrectly, it is highly possible, not just possible, it's highly possible to cause death and severe injury. Oh my lord. <laughs> it also says, they're not done, it goes, if you use the product incorrectly, it is highly possible, again, highly possible, to cause minor injury and property loss. Property loss? What do you mean? Well, it explains for us. It okay. says, property loss involves extended loss of house, family property, livestock, and pets. Oh, God. So if you've got any goats, dogs, children, cats, oh, he's connected. There it is. Okay. I feel something. Oh God, that feels Wait, so I weird. see it! Oh my God, it looks like I have an alien in my stomach moving around. I'm literally not doing anything. This is doing it for That's me. That's what I look like when I've had a six pack of beer and a full pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell this is This is like on? literally, it's just, it's, it's going. Brandon's got a baby in his belly. <laughs> no, I swear, it's need to get, get out. I'm like Junior, Arnold, so yeah. yeah. Okay, no, 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 no. That's on mode one. This goes to 18, I think. Ooh. Yeah, no, no joke. <laughs> that fucking thing hurt. I'm not lying. Need I remind you, up. it is highly possible oh. to cause death and severe injury. I can't believe this is only on one. You think you go up to 18? No, fuck no. <laughs> I would literally die. Death and severe injury. They yeah. tell you right on the first page. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm being punched in the gut. Okay, there's a lot of warnings. Ooh. And cautions. <laughs> Warning, do not use on body parts such as private parts. <laughs> Your penis would explode. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, there is a, you know. I mean, <laughs> come on. <there's, laughs> so, mode one, it's fine. This is actually the easy okay, part. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, okay, this is weird. <laughs> I am just not moving my stomach. That is a strange sensation. It really does almost feel like there's something inside you. It's when it starts going into the constant flow of electricity that you start to really panic almost in a way. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, it right. freaking gets you, and it's just like, it it's, it's, it's like in your kidneys, man. It is, it's like on your, because you know, they get your obliques and stuff, but it's literally, this is on mode one. This is insane to me because it goes to 18 levels. Move it up. <laughs> okay, I don't yeah, know no, if seriously. it's humanly possible to go no. up from here. Oh, what am I on? You're on three. I gotta go down, yeah, man. Yeah, I gotta go down. I gotta. Oh, I got ab cramp. 15 more levels to that. Oh. So, uh, <sighs> still recovering. I've, I've got an insane yeah, ab cramp right now. Right. Okay, take it off. Get this thing off. Take it off. I don't even know what to say. I'm a little. <laughs> I feel like I've been violated. Can you see that ab? Yeah, cramp look at right that. There? It's still cramping. Oh you gotta stretch it out. You gotta stretch it out. Oh, there shit. we go. There we go. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
be very careful of this. It's definitely not gonna build your abs. Uh, it is not gonna help you lose fat. This thing scares me. <laughs> We're gonna take this and burn it. <laughs> it is time for the number one selling fitness equipment. And you gotta keep in mind, this is outselling dumbbells, barbells, mobility bands, everything. This is the number one selling fitness equipment. And this is it. It's called the Good Fitness Companion Hula Hoop That Won't Fall Off. That's the name of it. <laughs> Very interesting. I think the one thing that really stands out for me right away is the warning. And it says, keep away from people. Um, so, here you go, ladies. <laughs> You're gonna try it out. Every day for 30 minutes, reproduce the waste. That's actually the opposite of what you hope it would do. Like, you don't wanna make your waste reproducing, right? You want it to shrink. It's getting, it's getting connected. <laughs> Watch out. Yeah. Like, yes, keep, <laughs> keep away, away from people. people. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Whoa. I gotta admit, this thing looks pretty cool. It feels kind of cool. You're getting strapped in, you're like, you know, connecting it, you're getting it all ready, but it just, the construction feels a little cheap. It's not super heavy, but it's not really that light too. So if you get this thing going, all of a sudden it just snaps off. It can either hurt someone or break something. There we go. Yeah. yeah! Big disappointment, no flex. There you go, 2022's best selling fitness devices. You know, and jokes aside, we do have fun with these and it's interesting to try out the newest fitness gear out there. But it starts to make you a little angry, you know, because a lot of these people are buying this equipment. Not only it's because it's popular, but there's a lot of promises attached to it and they're just not gonna get the results they want from something like this. So, uh, you know, and we do this partly because we're trying to put it out there where, just stick with the basics. Yeah. I mean, really it goes to, I mean, if you wanna do a hula hoop, maybe just buy a normal hula hoop. Yeah, it's new and fancy and it looks kinda cool, but just because it's all those things doesn't mean it's gonna replace the original or be better than it. That was the moral at the end of the Saturday <laughs> afternoon uh, public service announcement. I don't know. But yeah. somebody's gotta say it. Yeah, that's true. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun. Um, and I'm sure we're gonna be doing more of these. 2023, <laughs> baby. What's coming up? What's gonna be the top number one fitness gear out there in, in the next year? So we'll see you then. Oh, yeah. Ooh.